I'm going to demonstrate how to use an equation of state spreadsheet for mixtures to determine vapor liquid equilibrium. So the idea is we're going to use Peng Robertson equation of state. And what we're going to do is calculate the fugacity coefficients for both the liquid phase and the vapor phase. And in, in this particular case, we're going to use an example where we know the liquid phase composition for a pentane, normal hexane, normal heptane mixture. We know the temperature. We want to determine the vapor phase compositions, yi being the mole fractions in the vapor phase, and the pressure. And we're going to use this PRFUG spreadsheet from the Elliott and Lear textbook. So let's look at that spreadsheet. So here I'm looking at the spreadsheet, and I've done a couple things. I've gone into review, and you notice it says protect the sheet. Well, when you first open it, it actually is protected, and so I've unprotected it because I want to be able to change some of the cells. I wanted to highlight the liquid phase. The liquid phase, in this case, is the more stable phase. Notice it has a lower fugacity than the vapor phase. Right, vapor phase, larger volume, but the lower fugacity is the stable phase. And remember the objective here is we're going to calculate the fugacity coefficients for the liquid phase, also for the vapor phase. Well, I've put in the mole fractions that we already know for the liquid phase, given the problem. I've input the temperature. I guess the pressure. We don't know the pressure. This is a guess of a tenth of megapascal or one bar. And then I copied the critical values. And these, you can certainly look them up, or you could copy and paste from the Peng Robertson Equation of State spreadsheet for a single component. And so once I have this information here, what I want to do is create a duplicate, but I want that duplicate to be for vapor phase composition. So if I go here and say move or copy and create a copy, put it at the end. So notice we come up with a problem. It says we have this variable. So if I click no, then I need to rename it. And I'm just going to rename it triple A. And now same thing for B. So I'm going to name B likewise. And we'll continue doing this. But I'll pause while I do the rest. Now I'm going to rename this vapor fugacities. And I'm going to highlight the vapor instead of the liquid. But first I need to put in my guess values, and I'm going to change this to YI to make it easier to remember. So I've made those changes, vapor fugacities. I've highlighted the vapor phase, those fugacities I want to use. Now, I'm going to be changing the pressure. So what I'm going to do to be consistent, I'll change the pressure here in the liquid phase, and then I want the value in the vapor phase to be the same value, so I don't have to change it twice. I'm set it so it's equal to this value. And that way, when I make the change in one place, it's already changed in the other place. Now, what I'm going to do is set up a table to list the fugacities for liquid and vapor phase and our guess values, and then go through iterations to find the correct vapor composition and the correct pressure. So I'm going to pause and set this table up and then talk about what it is. So I've set up this table, and then I'll go through and explain in a little more detail, but the notation, of course, mole fraction in the liquid phase, the fugacity coefficient in the liquid phase, the values we guess, which are over here for gas phase mole fractions, the fugacity coefficient of the vapor phase, which are calculated here, just like the fugacity coefficient of the liquid phase on the other page in the spreadsheet, Ki is going to be the ratio of fugacity coefficients. We'll talk more about that. Yi is our new value for Y based on the Ki and Xi, since Yi is equal to Ki times Xi. And then we normalize because these values are not going to add to 1. So we'll go through those in sequence. So now we have the table set up. What we're going to do is populate it. First, I want the mole fractions in the liquid phase, which would be here. And so I'm going to copy them from this page in the spreadsheet. And that way, this would be a more general program. If I change liquid phase compositions, I could calculate the new vapor phase. So I'm going to take the values from the other page in the spreadsheet for the liquid phase, you guess. So I'm going to set this equal to the pentane liquid phase fugacity coefficient. 
And I'll do the same for the in hexane in octane, and I'll pause while I do that. Okay, this way these liquid phase free gases can change when I change the pressure for the liquid phase as we adjust to find the correct pressure and gas phase mole fractions. So I'm going to put the guesses made for the liquid phase here and do the same too for the other components. And so with those guesses, I now have vapor phase fugacity coefficients. So again, using the same procedure, I'm going to set this equal to the in pentane fugacity coefficients. And again, I'll pause and enter the other values. And so now Ki, remember, is the ratio of the liquid phase value fugacity coefficient divided by the vapor phase fugacity coefficient. And then I can do the same calculation for the other two. So now I can calculate a new y value, right? This new y value is my k value from the fugacity coefficient ratio times my xi. So, so this is just ki multiplied by xi. And likewise, I can do this for the other two. So a couple things. Of course, these values are quite different from our guess, but they also don't add to one. So what I'm going to do is normalize them by first taking a summation of these three values. And then I'm going to set this equal to yi, in this case y for normal pentane, divided by this summation. Now I can't copy these cells because we're using the same cell for the divider, but I take this divided by the summation and likewise for the third. So now I have normalized values. These add to one. So I'm going to copy these values and I want to paste them here, but I want to do a paste where I paste numerical values, not the equations. That could create problems. And so I notice we've copied them and there's only two significant figures. So just to show we're copying the same thing. So we have yi values that are new. This, of course, is giving us new values for the fugacity coefficients. But because these add up to number less than one, it means we need to adjust the pressure. But we have to do it, remember, in the liquid phase. So we have to lower the pressure because the yi's were less than one. So I'm going to put 0 0.6 as a guess. A change in the liquid phase, that of course also changed in the vapor phase. That then changed the liquid phase fugacities, changed the vapor phase fugacities. Now notice that I have yi and I can, I can give this more significant figures just to convince you that it just happens to be exactly 0 0.200. So notice now the yi is closer to one, the summation. What we can do, of course, in normalization, and we've already done it here, right? In this table, we're dividing our new yi by the summation. And then we can put these new values, which are actually pretty close. So I can again copy these and paste them here, keeping in mind that I'm just pasting the numerical values. And then I should adjust the pressure lower again in the liquid phase. So let me try, since I've already solved this, I'll try this value. Now notice what's happened. For these Y values and this pressure, the Ys now, we didn't normalize this column, remember, they're summing to 0.99. That's close enough for the kinds of calculations we're doing, of course, this table here, just to make sure this is normalized, they're slightly different. And so at this point we're going to stop because we've demonstrated the idea. So now notice for the fugacity of vapor phase, the values that we're using from this spreadsheet is lower than the fugacity liquid phase. So this is the vapor phase, the stable phase, where there's here, the liquid phase has the lower fugacity for mixture, it's the stable phase. So what we've done is calculate now the bubble pressure, pressure we see first bubble of vapor for this temperature, and this is going to be the composition of that vapor. This is a general procedure of using the equation of state to get vapor liquid equilibrium 
in this case for a three component mixture.